What's up all you beautiful, gorgeous, sexy people out there, welcome back to my career with the New Orleans Pelicans and NBA 2K14, that's right, the Pelicans, they used to be the Hornets, they used to instill that fear into you, the wrath of God, but as you see I get a backcourt violation to start off the big, to start off my game, that's horrible, that's terrible, anyways guys, did you see last night, last night, the Heat versus the Pacers in game 5 I believe it was, Lance Stevenson, he took his game, or Lance Stevens, I don't even know his name, but his first name's Lance, okay? So, he takes his mind games to a whole new level. LeBron's just sitting there, he's just chilling, and Lance goes up to him, he's like, blows in his ear. He's like, hey, bro, you like that? You like that? You don't, you don't like that? Yeah? You want some? Hey, baby, yeah, yeah, get you some. That's just, that's just mind games to a whole nother level. So, guys, you see here in this first quarter, I do terrible, I do horrible. I get my manhood taken from me. They took my big old cojones, my big fluffy balls. They took them from me. But I come back in the second quarter. No more turnovers. None of that madness. Or well, as besides that one, okay? Just forgive me. Besides that one turnover right there, I pick up my game a little bit. I actually score a little bit. As you guys know, I haven't been able to post 2K14 that much. Basically due to real life as I get denied, but I still get fouled. So, I haven't been able to post 2K14 that much due to the simple fact that I've had real life going on. I've had stuff going on, and I wanted to get back in action. I wanted to give you guys the ice demon that you've been craving. The ice demon, the man with no soul. He's like a ginger, but with blue hair. So, guys, I've been wanting to get him back in action as I work over Danny Green. I just did him dirty. I did the crossover behind the back into a nice layup. He just got oofed. -ooped. Nice little layup there. Remember the Alamo, guys. Remember the Alamo. So I've been wanting to get back in action. As you may have noticed, these quarters, for some reason, I come back. And I find out 2K has done me dirty again as I dunk them cookies. I just dunk them cookies. I got a box of Oreos. I got some chips ahoy. I got some Nutter Butters. <laughs> I just dunk it on everybody. So basically, I came back 2K14 and uh, did me dirty, basically, guys. You know. I come back and the quarters are shortened and I didn't even realize it until I started this game. But I fix it, next game is against Golden State and I have that attached to this game. You get two games back to back if you don't know. But I've had this attached, or this fixed, this problem fixed in the next game. I'll put it back to 10 minutes, but right now it's at this game in particular, only this game, it's at six minutes. Because 2K did me dirty and they changed my settings without me knowing. They came in like thieves in the night and changed my settings. So I come back and I hit this. Well, I don't hit it. I get the foul drawn. So, you know, I got eight points now. I hit those free throws. I hit them. And I come back and I hit the turnaround jumper. I know it. That's like my favorite move. That's my signature move. So right now we're in a slugfest. We're in a battle. It's 64 to 60. We have the lead. I'm dunking them cookies. I got my game going. I have two assists. That's not enough for a point guard. We need to work on our passing. We need to work on our teammates scoring. So you see there, I just ran him over. I was like a wrecking ball. I was like a bulldozer. I was like a freight train. Look at that. Excellent shooting. Excellent release. Excellent shot selection. I still miss. What? Baseline shot? Come on, dude. Come on. Why are you telling me I missed that? That was like perfection. That was perfect. And then I snuck on defense. And Tony Parker, I believe, just does me dirty. That might have been Patty Mills. But he scores. I had horrible defense that time. And then I have even worse defense. And then Mano G nobly to do with that bald spot on his head. He comes back. He hits the three-pointer. Maybe if he would have done that versus Miami last year, their team would have won the game. So I come back. I'm crossing him over. I come back again. Hell, oh, get some. Get some. Get some, Aminu. Get some, Unibrow. Pass it back to me, and I make it rain. I'm dropping bombs. I'm at the strip club again, and I'm making it rain. Give me those quarters. I'm going to make it hail. So, guys, 246 left. It's still a tight game. There's two, we're up by two. We're only up by two, and it's a fast break. And then Amino slams them cookies. He increases our lead. We're up by four now. He increased our lead. He wanted some chips ahoy. He wanted that, and then Tony Parker comes up like a beast. He's a beast in real life. I love that dude, even though I hated him before. He's a beast. He comes up, and he narrows the gap. It's two points. I move over. I set the pick, and I make it rain again. <laughs> See, that? that was a bomb falling on you. That was just a bomb annihilating you. So we're up again by three from that shot. And Anthony Davis, the unibrow, he gets that baby hook. And I get worked over by Tony Parker. He gets the steal, and then he's going to hit a floater. He's going to narrow the gap again. It's 78 to 77. Now it's 79 to 77. 
and I miss a free throw. What is going on here? I'm a white guy. I shouldn't miss anything. No, I'm just kidding. White guys miss everything. So it comes back. We win the game anyways. So we get the W. 79 to 77 based on six minutes of gameplay for each quarter. And now we're facing off against Golden State. Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, and the Golden State Warriors. And uh, let's just say it's a battle. It gets another slugfest in there. So we're pushing up the court. I'm in the game. I haven't scored yet. Drew Holiday has the ball, and he turns it over. What kind of pass was that, Drew? Iguodala is running up the court. He passes it to Steph Curry, and he gets the layup. Steph Curry, if that was me, I would have dunked that. So I'm trying. I'm on Steph Curry. He's playing D on me, and I just drive it. I'm always, I like driving to the court. I like getting down low. I like getting in the post. I like getting in the paint and driving, maybe get some fouls and stuff like that. But then I block the shot. I come up, and I just shoot it right away. They have no hope. I get two points with the ice demon. And you, if you haven't noticed, guys, I don't really pass that much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't pass that much. Basically because Steph Curry just works me over and hits that three-pointer. He makes it rain. He's at the strip club with me. But I don't pass that much. Basically because every time I pass it to my teammates, they screw me over. I don't know how I didn't get the assist there. But that was a, that was a beautiful pass. And I tried to get another beautiful pass. I turn the ball over. And that's just not that's just not going my way. And look at that. He just pulls right up. And he makes it rain. Their whole team's at the booby bar. Their whole team's at the strip club. They got them strippers on those poles. And they're making it rain. They're making it hail and all that stuff. So you see, we're down by eight now. I got to get something going. I got to get my team into it. And I try to dunk it. I get boxed, but I get the foul. So I get my eighth point. I get my eighth point. And now, you know, I'm feeling comfortable. I'm feeling confident. I still only have a 40% field goal rating or, or uh, percentage. So we're, we're not doing too great shooting the ball. But then I come up and I dunk them cookies. I got my chips ahoy again. I got my... Grasshoppers, you know, I got my thin mints up in this biatch and <laughs> I dunk them cookies So we're going into the second or the second half. It's like 47 seconds left I got a dude in my face. I got his sweaty balls in my face. I still score so Lee's at the or it might be bogey. He's at the free throw line. And it's one second left and I nail it I nail the buzzer beater at halftime a last second shot to narrow the gap to put us only down by one point Against Golden State, that's pretty good. You know, they have Steve Kerr as their coach now. And they're going to be really, really boss next year. And they keep everyone and all that stuff. They improve their roster. This team is going to be boss to face. But honestly, like in 2K15, I might be Golden State just because I can play with Steph Curry. And I can own people. And I can just shoot threes all day. I can make it rain all day. I get the turnover. And then I turn the ball over again. I give up my manhood again. It's in the jar. It's like that. What was that? I got... It's a genie. No, it's not a genie in a bottle. I don't even know what I'm talking about. You know, it was. Oh my god, I can't remember now. That lady that sung about her nuts being in a jar. I, I can't remember. Remind me. Remind me who that was. The sing about something being in a jar. You keep looking for it, but it's in a jar. I don't know. Anyways, I hit the layup, and we're cutting. We're narrowing their lead. We're narrowing it down. And I tie it on the turnaround jumper. I, that's my signature move. I love the turnaround jumper. I just worked that Steve Blake over. I worked that Whitey over. You can't guard me, Whitey, one on one. You can't do it. You can't do it. So there's 24 seconds left. They hit Clay Thompson in the corner, and he nails a two pointer. So they're up by four. But going into the fourth quarter, they're actually still up by four. So we have a close game. We have a really close game, and I narrow it down. It gets narrowed down to a two point lead for them. And then they come up with a three pointer. He's still in the. I swear, Steph Curry will not leave the booby bar. He likes making it rain. He likes making it hail. He's throwing them quarters out for those strippers, and he's making it hail. And I hit the uh, pass to Drew Holiday. He hits the pass. Uh, he hits the three-pointer. He makes it rain, so he's joining it. Everyone's in the booby bar in this game. Everyone. And then I roll it over. I spin over. I knock that David Lee dude over. He has nothing. He wants nothing. He's white. He's a white guy. He wants nothing of me. And I hand it off to the unibrow. I'm trying to make something go. How? Sit the pick, baby. Sit the pick, bro. Now, roll to the court. Ro roll to the rim. Oh, ho, ho. Alley ooped. I ooped at him. I got the oopty oop. Oopty oop. Slam it down, big baby. Slam it down. So, it's 86 to 86. Playing in the fourth quarter. When you haven't really gone that far in your career yet, is horrible because you're always losing your um, your basically your breath. You're always down. You got that energy cup. You need some Gatorade. You're always out of breath. You're always losing your stamina. That's why playing in the fourth quarter is terrible because you miss so many shots. 
when you haven't played that much. What kind of pass was that, Anthony Davis? Why are you doing that to me? Why are you doing me dirty? I thought you loved me, bro. I hooked you up with that oop, and you screwed me over. As you can see right there, I normally would make that shot, or I might have made that shot if my stamina was up, if I had my endurance up. But Steph Curry, he's going to come back, and he's going to make his shot. So now they're up by about 8, and it's a minute left. Now they're up by 10 or 12, and we're not going to come back. They could just keep increasing their lead. We have no hope. I can't make any shots, so I'm just passing the ball off. Every time I try, I miss, basically. Anderson, my white guy, comes up with the three-pointer. So, guys, we lose this game, 106-91. Stay tuned for more 2K14, and here's the after, after game press conference. I love you. Stay frosty. So you appear to have added a new accessory to your wardrobe here. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, you like it? I'm always looking for new ways to accessorize, and my teammates were nice enough to give this to me. Gotta love those guys. Always looking out for the rookies. Anyway, get used to this. You'll be seeing it a lot moving forward.